Liz Lombardi said, the harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. At the end of the day, the person that will surrender is the person that didn't work as hard as the other person. You got to work harder than the other person. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, this, I can't do no more reps, you say, I can, yeah, you got to do one more. Because right now, you might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his all. In order for you to go from one level to the next level, in order for any woman to transition, for any man to transition, the thing that they want must be greater than the thing they currently have. Humans do not transition to another level when they're comfortable with the level that they're on. Because you're thinking right now like, I want a better home, I want a better car, I want a better family. No, that's what you say with your mouth. That's what you say to make yourself feel good about yourself. Because you don't get out of life what you want, you get out of life who you are. Everybody likes the idea of success. Everybody wants to have millions of dollars in their bank account. But going out and doing those things, going out and building a plan backwards from that point that you want to be and going through the day to day to day actions of building that, you don't love that idea. You like the idea of success as long as it's fucking easy, as long as it doesn't take dedication, as long as it doesn't take you having to do things that you don't feel like doing when you don't feel like doing them. You need to decide if you're in love with the idea of success or if you're in love with success. You only transition from one level to the next when you're tired of the level you are. You can stop at that level or you can go, I want more levels. I want more fucking levels. When you start losing, it becomes a habit. That's what's dangerous, and it doesn't just affect you. Now your children and your children's children are gonna be broke. Winners win, and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's gonna become a culture. Life happens to everybody, but winners approach it like victors and losers like victims. Winners win, not because their circumstances change, not because they win the lottery, not because they get this network. Winners win because they change their mentality from being a loser, a victim, to being a victor and saying, I have what it takes. I've got the right mindset. I'm alive. I can count on me. So if you're tired of losing and you're ready to win, you owe you to be a winner. If you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're going to be the apex, you got to be it, not talk about it. You got to be it. It has to consume you. It has to take over you. You're putting in work, and just because you can't see the results, you want to quit or give up. I ain't never quit. I ain't never give up. I ain't never give in. I just kept grinding. You putting in the work, and the only reason you piss, the only reason you quitting is not because you want to quit, because you keep looking up and you saying, we three in. Who cares what you are? If you keep going, you're going to break through. The only people that don't break through are the people who scoreboard watching. You stopping working to look at yourself. You not grinding, you glaring. You should be grinding and you looking at the score. The score is what it is. The score ain't about to change because you looked at it. Keep playing the game. Keep grinding, keep working. And that other stuff will take care of itself. And the process is not supposed to be comfortable. So if it hurts, if you feel like you're under heat, if you feel like you're being pressured, welcome to the big leagues. You got to do a lot of shit that nobody ever sees or thanks you for or rewards you for for a long fucking time. It's delayed gratification. If you do the work consistently, one plus one is always going to equal two. Two plus two is going to equal four. In 10 years of motherfucking work, it's going to pay off. The equation is always the same. Every single time, if you do it right, you're going to get the same answer. And most of y'all cry. I'm ready to quit because I put in some time. You might have put in some time, but you didn't put in the time. The time that's required to make your dream become a reality. You can't shortcut the Success. Ain't no days off. You think because you sick, you can quit? You think because you hurt and you in pain, you can just give up? 
You think just because you put in some time, that ain't the time. You put in the time coach told you to put in. You put in the time the teacher told you to put in. But you didn't put in the time that life told you to put in. You didn't put in the time that the grind told you to put in. So what? You've been working out for six months. So what? You just start studying. So what? You now, nah, you serious. You just got serious six months ago. So what? You can't cheat the grind. You either put in the time or you surrender. If it was easy, y'all, everybody would do it. But it ain't easy. But I know you have what it takes to make it happen.